Courtesy of this music from the public arena, and it be music and that's on YouTube. So, we are the public already? But I don't have the copyright, but it's in the public arena already. But courtesy to the musician, Dr. BC Alawiyaluku. Mama Wadada, no, on the road timeline. Mama Wasibi, no. Mama Anki Waleko, on the timeline. So, courtesy of Mrs. Adebisi Alawiyaluku. Mama Wadada, thank you. Courtesy to you. Ejo e ma pin kakiri eleo ki se program ti en mewa ma wo lasan ejo ogbon ologbon ti o ki je ka pe agba ni wo ere be se wole ejo e ba wa pin this is different ele ye to pada pata se ma pa won pastor sa ni ke e pin ni 21 times 40 times 50 times se pe mi o ki ales e pin leko kan lasan ti to mi be se wole yen ye ko kan ti to kan won kan cover ni kan won ri e ba mu ni ko kan Everybody, if you timeline, the timeline, you can the timeline. You can see the timeline. You can program. You can see the timeline. You can see the timeline. So, you can see the Do you ever walk me? Ever walk me, da da? Ever walk me, da da? Ever walk me? Or is this in Kanibo? My first time I brief the Lord, the cattle lost no topic that we hear what. Hey, do you ever watch here? Kunisha ne se mi ati re. Nta ne fi share. Kuni ta fe se oli lori loni. Ever watch here? Kamu ya wale. Ta ba shi e ka bere ka wo 500 mo le ma so topic yan lo ni kin so dijo mi mo de le decide lati be lo sun youtube kin lo kin lo record be si be e je ba wa shi e to ton ba ni ke shi e ni 20 times 30 times e ma nda won lo so e yin e shi e lo do wa bi to do ton ma da be ni pe won ni more viewers ni ngba mi won ni e shi e 30 times 40 times e yin a shi e e shi e le o ko kan mathematically e ko kan ti to ko ko ni mi ni Hey, go cut it up, please. Hey, Joe, remember what she had. Super.
Eba wa pe, eba wa eba wa share dada e ti share rara, bo ya e fe duro ni bo e share, tori mo ma nri e mo experience be se share lori timeline awon la dura. Eba wa share, e le se pataki. Se ri bibeli kan so fun wa, adura igbagbola isi ise, bibeli so pe o fo ni o ku lo je ninu aye. So be eyan ba ti e gba adura lata ro da le, awon nkan ko so pe o ni di igbese. Te yin o ba gbe igbese to ba gba adura lata ro da le, asan lori asan imule mo fo ni. Oto ni aye adura, oto ni aye common sense. E je ba wa shi a program yin. Mi o ba te rewa rara lo ni, mi o ba te rewa. Bo koto di pe mo bere topic nye. Ni ba te ba shi a program yin lawo. E je koko fi a rinyo di yon kan. Ka wako bere e re mande kan. Bo kato bere e re mande nan. E je koko ki mama meri o laide. Mwaku o jo e bito ni. Mwaku o jo e bito ni. Mwa shi o kolok bo adun laye. Tori o beni da da ni mwa. O beni ya da da de ni mwa. I did him of so pay a dad name, my mammy or lighter than we pay. I won't come what see a man shake to my domino ju. Shari in a dry yet to me, cause she won't go bonk on for me, mom. Motty buy in a dry yet to be pay or walk on a problem with me. Tori, lawyer, and me, or long dead bath for me, Kinshetty Beraga. Um, be belly just just have to solve it, but you know, share, you know, go down long seeing there be a long shake palace from us, or don't buy down a little man, your receiver. Be more be a bado, oh my so, I knew your mom, my ta, look, my debt, I do a bemy law. Be more tell me, my ta, to the poor long funeral, me long, or long funeral, me long only, to the pay, or long barmary, I do, Gidini, more than you know about long barmary, I do. It did him of Sabaki say, or what, or what kind of a bone can, or what kind of fair, or what kind of fair. On the motion, keep my memory or like the possibility, pay one quarter job, be only one quarter dry a year only. Why she up, but do like ye? It is much a key of bringing it much a key or she alone, and we pay. Oh, one mille, tell you about one mille, oh, jewel of one mille a year. Mamma yak pay me go in the bassoro. Oh, what mess, oh, what? Oh, what send the voice padassi me? I draw at one bath for me, me or wrong one now. Me or wrong one. Me or wrong one. Mi o le so English yi, tori yi yogman logman ni. E baba an kache, she ka mix e, she ka mix e. Maybe we should mix it. What do you think? George Lawrence, bade jo, adek benga. Maybe we should mix it then. Because of this topic, ka, ka mix e pak mo. Because it's a sensitive topic. And I, I want a lot of people to learn lesson from it. Logman, logman, this is somebody else's uh, pro, uh, mistake. You know, and you have to learn from somebody else's mistake. But having said that, let me continue to say congratulations to uh, Mama Mary Olaide possibility for your birthday today. Because you know, come me lay, act with me, eh, by me, eh, me by sorrow, eh, they send the voice message there, fit bad raw, eh, send this to me. Oh my lad, raw, me oh, oh my lad, raw, good to me. And you told them not to my raw, to me. See, your bag bad raw, you told them not to know you, one moment, one last night, me. I draw a tag back from me. Oh, what no you? But the chef called from me. I read from you. But look at Jesus. Told you no, you do see me. Only I say, I say, but draw from me. You know me not that do see you only on the fifteenth of May. And yet, see, I bought me. Let your share date back, but on the last birthday, see, so see, yeah, you. And let your share seven fifteen, eighteen, see, seventeenth of May. I bought me timber that you are not sitting more fair at no time only. Oh my, you are more me. So, oh, she put taros in you. And you taros man blue gun. The man blue the bad fashion, the fashion. Bessie Bessie Bess, Moni Fayin, Mamma Mary or Lady Possibility, or Long Rag Baffin, a cool or joy be to me, a shy master let a matter let the jetting of a shame ten year, Christy Waller in ye. So, King Tess, what do before the next topic? Because a lot of people, I think George Lawrence Badge or Nick Beggar want us to speak in English so that a lot of people will come up. I will not digress alone in English. So, also, I will not digress alone in Yoruba. I will be mixing it up. So that people can make common sense from it. So whoever comes in and not a Yoruba person, they should just join us and carry it along. That's the way it's going to go. But before we go to that topic, let us do some brainstorming, some mathematics. The state governor, precisely, let me tell you, state governor precisely put a contract out there. Before we talk about the contract, Kakokofiche brainstorming, association of Tailoring in Nigeria, are there a profit organization or non-profit organization? Association of Tailoring in Nigeria or your state, Lagos State, Ibadan, wherever, Ogun State, Kwara, Bendere, Ko, Ondo, wherever in Nigeria, are they associ association, are they NGO, are they non-profit organization or they are profitable organization? Please, can you let me quickly have your answer? Association of Tailoring in Nigeria. 
Ejo Association of Tailoring in Nigeria. Are they non-profit organization or they are profit uh, profitable organization? Ejo Emma Shiakini, this is very important to me. This is very these things are very important. Please. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Please start sharing. Start sharing. Please. Kia, 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 kia. Aha. Uri Ekpe Emmanuel. Uri Molade. Aha. So they are profitable organization, yeah? Profitable group, you know? Profitable organization. So if you are just joining us, please bear it in, put it in your mind that when we are talking of Association of Tailoring in Nigeria, they are profitable organizations, so they are not NGOs. Now, before I give you my answer, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to quickly want you to start responding to me on the scenario. Quickly, Catalyst, no topic to be wa wa. The scenario is that the state governor gave a contract of one million, not one million naira, one million face masks to be prepared so that he can give it to good citizen, good state citizen in that particular state. You understand? But you they are profit organization. A lot of people say they are profit organization. So I want you to know right. So we are going to go by that. But they are profitable organization. So let's carry on. Now, there's a contract of one million masks to be produced. And it was given, it was given to the tailoring association. Listen carefully. But each mask has to be has to be produced at 60 naira on each mask. Am I about 60 naira? Nobody produce a mask in here, but one million. Nobody produce one million mask. Nobody produce. I me that out because me, I don't want you to lose concentration. Now, nobody produce one million mask. One that one day flowing at the rate of sixty naira to produce each of them at the rate of sixty naira is big. Is been given that contract is given to an organization that will produce mask in here. Now. Let's move on. It's 60 naira per one mask. Yeah? And it was they were supposed to produce one million mask. Just so, yeah, you face mask, face mask, face mask, face mask, yeah. And, and move on, move on away from the profitable. I think they are profitable. So leave that one aside. The next thing you should go into now is they were given a business contract. They were given a contract to produce one million contra uh, face mask at the rate of 60 naira. Now they now contracted it again. They gave it to, they now gave it to, or whoever is in charge now gave it to 20 tailors. Yeah? 20 tailors to sew that mask at the rate of 20 naira. 20 tailors to, to sew that mask, 1 million mask as to, as they have to distribute it. I don't care how they manage to distribute it, but if it's 20 tailors, it has to be 50, 50,000 pieces they have to produce. But leave that aside. They now asked, they now gave it out at 2020 Naira. Remember, government gave it to them 60, 60 Naira. They now gave it out at 2020 Naira to 20 tailors to go and produce it for them. Now, in your opinion, are they supposed to make profit from it? Did what they do, did you think that it was right for them to keep that money, the remaining balance? What do you think? I have my answer and I'm going to put my answer out to the public. I don't really care what people say anything. I just want you to give out your opinion as well so that you will not be caught out in this kind of brainstorming situation. You understand? Yes. So look at it again, the way I'm saying it. 20 tailors were giving 20... Uh, they were given one million masks to produce. First of all, the, the mask was given to the Association of Tailorings to produce it at 60 naira. That's what government gave them, 60, 60 naira per each mask. Now, they contracted it to some tailors again, 20 tailors to do it, and it was given to them, me, 20 naira, no one can share, no one can run per face mask. Now, Tell me whether it was profitable. It was. It, tell me whether it makes sense for the tailor, for the association of tailor, to keep the, to do it at twenty twenty naira, to give it at twenty twenty naira rate. Or what do you think? Do you think they're supposed to increase the prof, the, the the figure a bit more, or do you think that the figure is supposed to 
the, the figure is okay. Share rope, eh? Yet you want share any twenty naira, eh? To want before I was to talk before I want to tell you twenty, eh? Per, per face mask. Share, share rope, oh, okay. A bear rope, eh? Koda, kidney dear. Kidney dear, too, if you die, I want to see your right up quickly, quickly before we move on to the real topic. I just want your brain. Ati, share, you know, Loni. Don't forget that I married to an accountant. So we've already talked about it. But because you have made it clear that it's a profitable organization, you understand? So, <laughs> only one make you 40 million without doing anything. My dad, we don't question me. Start. Thank you. Now let's vote. Let's vote. If you think that they are entitled to make profit, say yes. If you think that they are not entitled to make profit from it, say no. If you think that they are entitled, to, but the margin is too big, say um Now, It is not 60, 60 euro, it is 60 naira, Nigerian currency. It is not 60 euro. It's not 60 euro because it's a currency of Nigeria, Federal Republic of Nigeria. So it has to be naira. Now let me quickly dangle into the answer and tell you my opinion, which is, a, which is what I think I'm entitled to. You understand? I'm entitled to my opinion and you are entitled to your opinion. Now, the reason why I'm going to give out my opinion and the reason why I'm going to say it, let's get it right now. I First of all, I say thank you to all of you that have answered me to say that it is a profitable organization, which means that it gives me the opportunity to enjoy my uh, opinion this evening because it's a profit organization, which means that they are entitled to make profit. Now, the margin of profit they make, it is not our business anymore. The reason why I'm saying the margin of profit they make is not our business. It is because getting a contract from Nigerian government in any ramification, you it will have cost you to get into them. It will have cost you a lot to 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 to, to you know that it pile a laro. It will have cost you so much money that it pile a laro before you can get to get that contract. So. I am saying, in my opinion, you and as a business mogul, in my opinion, as a business mogul, as long as that one million face mask, as long as that they can produce the one million face mask, 
God, the state government that contracted it, that gave it to them, shouldn't be care about what profits they make. It shouldn't be care at all. As long as, so it, let's, go, let's get that right. Oh yes, as long as, as long as the 1 million face masks is properly produced with no problem and none of one, no one is missing out of that 1 million. I'm going to say that I won't care about the 40 million profit they make. I'm going to say that they have used that opportunity to help those who are coming behind them. They have used the opportunity to assist those tailors that have not connected, that cannot go out there to go and get that contract. Now, to prepare 50,000 face masks by one tailor, it's a lot of job for that person as well. So they have to get a cheap labor at the same time. They are going to get cheap labor by getting those tailors that are not really qualified, that they, don't, they are not going to pay them, other than giving them the lunch money and transportation money. That is the 20 tailors. That's what they are going to do. So I am not going to say that they are not supposed to. But I think you were right. When we're looking at the margin of how much they make, then I start contemplating that 40 million mm, could be an I one. But from the business angle, from the business angle, as long as those 1 million masks are produced, the state government cannot challenge it. And they are entitled to make profit. Because when we talk of association, they gave it to them. There will be chairman, there will be treasury, there will be PRO, there will be secretary, there will be anything, 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 anything. And then by the time you realize in that association, the 40 million that you are talking about, it goes, it will be divided between four, four, about almost 10 people. So which means that at the end of the day, whether they have worked or not, believe me, before the government can think about them, they must have been going to the government for contract for a long time. They must have been seeking for this thing for a very long time. So they have done well to secure contract because I know how it is. Getting the contract is not easy at all. So I want to kudos them that they must have done well. They must, they must have shown a lot of good proposal before the government will accepted their proposal and say, okay, I'm going to give it to you. But people are saying that the profit is too much. In my opinion, I think they are entitled to make profit. Whether it's not too much, imagine or not, then that throw us to the that throw is to the floor for us to continuously looking at it and debate about it. But because we don't want to spend all our day on that, we will use that scenario for another day entirely. <laughs> Which I think I want to say, I want to say thank you to you for for giving me that your brain in that arena. So. <laughs> Eh eh, what you ni ni ni? Ese what if I go? Koto dipe one contract in eba. Oche, oche yami. What you ni 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 ni? Ese what if I go? So me, I won't lie to you. As a business oriented person who like to make profit from business, I don't think they have. I can't see any problem. As long as somebody produce one million face mask here, where they will have problem if they fail to produce one million face mask, then they are in trouble. Let us move on to the next uh, next level before we go into the real topic of the day because the real topic of the day is a sympathetic one. Robbing Peter to pay Paul. <laughs> it doesn't matter how, he's, how Peter is robbed to pay Paul as long as Paul is paid. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as long as Peter gets money. Peter, uh, as long as Paul gets his money, Paul will not care where the money comes from. So, the next, the second thing I want to talk about again, they must pay a good year, exactly, Jerry, exactly. The second thing I want to talk about again, yeah, listen to me carefully. I like to do things properly, and I like to kudos those who need to be kudos. You understand? Emma, pay me, emi o ni gbesi, emi o ni do sa be e kayo kan. E shi ma shi a program yo because program top it up so e lo di gan gan. E ma shi in the end. Because me, why shouldn't be by? But we forget it. Forget it. I want to be sorry. Kudos, man. So I do care, care. Hmm.
Now, I want to mention these names. I know that they are going to be surprised for me to mention their names, but you don't know me properly. If you really know me, when you are my timeline and my trade academically, you will trade very carefully on my timeline. My timeline is quite different because a lot of people don't will timeline me. So um, I like people to be very academic and very professional when they are on my timeline. Now, these names, I want to kudos you. It's not to rubbish you. I want to kudos these names that I want to call out. I want to say well done to you. And I think your colleague or your other people out there on the social media, they should emulate you and see how debates are done correctly. Now, I put out a topic there regarding... Are you saying all ages between 40 to 60 years in Nigeria are not in existence other than blowing grammar on social media? Please, even if it was his son or daughter that was chosen to compensate, was chosen to compensate him, at least we can have a healthy discussion there on. I don't have... So, leave it like that. Now, the reason why I want to kudos those who have put out their comments here is because I want other people to emulate them. Now, Ola TJ... Ola TJ, Tej, Tej J, well done to you. Samuel Wolabi, well done to you. Taufik Ade Wale, Ade Bawale, well done to you. Oluwa Sheon Fagbe Ro Akinola, well done to you. Fumi Imo, Fumi Imo, I must say kudos to you. Fumi Imo, I have to say well done to you. Fumi Imo, Prince A Ale, well done. Ayodele Afola B. Afo, well done to you. Uh, Miss Florence M. Rhodes, Florence Rhodes, well done to you. Um, Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Tommy Adegbola, well done to you. Kayode Ajayi, Ale, well done to you. Akolo Phillips, well done to you. Debo Badejo, well done to you. Adebikpe Ajibulu, well done to you. Um, who do we have again there before I move on? Mm. I think I've done, I've mentioned everything, buddy. Ab Abdullah, Abdullah Ismaila, Abdullah Ismaila, well done to you. Um, Abdullah Ismaila, Ayodele Afolabi, well done to you. Um, Fumi Mo, well done to you. Now, that is it about that. The reason why I say well done to all those names that I mentioned, it's because I, I, I was on the timeline quietly, which is on my page. I'm the owner of the writer. You know, I'm the name of the writer. I, 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 I'm the owner of the page and I write it. So I'm the owner of the writer, uh, write up as well. So I own the write up. So I put it out to the public there. The reason why I kudos them is because academically, without throwing shades, without insulting each other. Everybody put out their own comments differently, their opinion differently. It is not that their opinion goes with my opinion, but it is because the way they argue it out, they did not pass insult throughout. They did not pass one insult to each other. They did not reckless each other. They did not put another person down. They did not talk down to each other. They just argued their point professionally, practically, they put it out there, and I'm not going to delete it. This Jesus Christ will come. I will not take it out. It just will be argument in here. Be talking about platform here for life. People should learn from you guys how to debate when you are on people's uh, platform. How to talk. How to talk to each other. Hey, many times, basoro. You have to be careful when people are talking. A lot of people go on places and insult. You don't go and pass insult on people. It shows your level of exposure. It shows your level of education. It shows that you are very low in thinking. And when they if you pay, one, they came from a very good home. Secondly, they are highly educated. And thirdly, they understand their debate and they are exposed. When people have all these qualities, the way they think, the way they talk, the way they handle matters is quite different. And I must say to them, well done. Well done, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. In fact, for me, more, for me, more impressed me. Pata pata, for me, more the way she speaks there, the way she handles things. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Honestly, I'm really impressed. And since yesterday, I've had you in my mind that I'm going to uh, appraise you guys on my on that timeline. So when you come on my timeline, I'll write your name down, and you messed up, I will rubbish you. 
when I'm having the next program. If you mess, if you if you insult people on my timeline with your name, I will rubbish you. And now if you use fake name, I'll still rubbish you because I'll go and look at it and find out and I'll rubbish you. But these people, well done to them. Yes. I think we should give them an LTO award. <laughs> no, let them carry on doing their debates. We will follow them on. We will follow them on. Next time we put another debate there. We, we will continuously follow them on. You know, we follow them on. Because once or other, their debate was their debate was so academic and very polite. One insult around one, one rubbish around one, one bring anybody down. One shape who they make sense. So I say thank you to all of you. And it shows you are properly brought up. Understand? Only one of you in the Kani Momos. So you that I met, which is Abdullah Ismail. Ismail. In the Kani Momos. So you know who are in your school. But nevertheless, I say well done to all of you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know whether you are ready for my beautiful topic of the day. My topic of the day, as a mother, I'm not going to that kind. I'm not going to be laughing or smiling on the matter I want to put out here. Yes. So if you are out there, Please, the telephone number you are going to call us on is 07908. Call us for your advice. It's very important. 07908-628-240. Oh, me, eh? Topic tab with that in law with that mass or with that money. So if you are a non Yoruba person, stay on, stay on. If you don't speak Yoruba, stay on. I'll be mixing it up. What will make me be angry with you that makes me cross with you is to, for you to tell me to speak English. But I will be mixing it up. I will mix it up for you to understand and I'll carry you along because I'm going to read it in English first. And I want people to start phoning in. You understand? But in the meantime, I think I love this music that I was enjoying earlier on. So I want to quickly see it again. Get yourself ready because it's a topic that is going to take you off your, 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 your guard. The music is for uh, is from uh, Doctor B C Alawiyaluko. Doctor B C Alawiyaluko. I don't know the music here, but it's taken from the public arena, so it's already on the YouTube. So it's in the public domain.
About you, I love that voice honestly. Me, you my mind, I'm calling because I have known a lot of years music, long time. I feel you, Banja, I've known her music as long as I did this look on you. But my voice, but in my book, you understand, but more going to pet, 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 pet. Timothy Mamma, my love, we am tomorrow calling and Timothy went to calling up on you. We saw you dada on Tibatak by the near port, Leko. It may fly. I think I was flying into the United Kingdom. I think she was flowing into, she was going into Georgia, Atlanta. I know she was going to US anyway, but we met at Lagos State here, Lagos uh, Federal uh, Airport, Murita Lamuambe Airport too. Me at Mamma, be sala with ye. Me tell her, I'll tell you, Mamma, I want to tell I want us to know why we can ask. But it's like a lot of people who like by him. My name is Kunyuma. No, I keep one telling me. I don't want to be sad with you. Ah, yummy. Me, oh my, me, oh, you be a lady. Because she was not, she was having short court. So I didn't recognize her. I declare me, oh my, tell her one to one. 
But I know at least the team has to know be a lot of people. Igwe Mama, eh, and Igwe One Music. Yes, you and you can I love Mama Bisi a lot of people. And Igwe One Music. I love Igwe One. Which one is Igwe One again? It's too bad in here. Oh, okay. I'll come on up in Igwe. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Okay, I'll come on up when you go. Okay, all right. The Allah we are and our husband. Yes, thank you. So let's leave Allah we are aside and let's concentrate on, my, on our topic. Don't we have a long way to go? But Tim Bati liking it, my fair. I want I love to recognize people. Believe me. Can you shake people ya I don't like to me liking for you commercializing. Tell you about tell you about recognize me, not recognize it. Bush one here. My mala will recognize me, not recognize me. But music ye, let me tell you. And that music should be should be given a word. Music a cook by award. In Tobato to Bad Jack Batio School Rav or Stabatio, Tom Bar organize, I would have nominated her for UK award. Why there was UK work by award you have from money. So she gave me my nominating one because I'm a proud Yoruba woman. So, what actually brought us to this topic today? It's so sudden that we have this kind of topic in our midst, especially in, in among the Yorubas. Oh, you see me? Nobody to me. Topic. I wasn't coming for this topic today. I wasn't coming for this. I didn't have this topic until later on today. Mola to deviate me. I'm okay. I'm at drive. Come on, I'll say M25. Come on, so far, pay M25. Yeah, talk about that. Go by 13. Chama pe ya to ya to wa be fa pata to ba wa ni UK. To wa to lo to fa lu M25. To pe M25 ni focus between me drive lo. He be me fa lo straight. On of a sudden. Message yen kan wole de ni pe loya to kun bo e ton ko lori M25. E ton ko lori M25. E ma be si focus either A406, A13, you know, or M27 or M Kinikan. In fact M27 close. So which means that I have to completely turn the angle of the car completely and look for the nearest local uh, uh, road. Let's take the channel, let's call the motorway. In the United Kingdom, N25 is a big, massive motorway. Motorway, the motorway already. Ni ni ajo ti mo fe shala ye fun yin mo ti ni topic ti mo fe pieces lo ni ti mo fe ti mo ti gbe wa ti mo fe fi yin ogo ti mo fe sise ni lori loni to ma la ru wo ninu sugbo ngba ti text message ti chat message whatsapp message you wole i want to mean ni mi le da oro won danu i can't throw those things away i need to look at it won da kami kun won kami ye won ni your timeline is big your timeline can deal with this problem your timeline can can get us people who can give us advice what to do Oh, that what is the problem, ladies and gentlemen? Please follow me on. Now I am going to read. Um, I am going to read the message in in, in English. My can message in English because one before me lot all picking lot treat here, but it's already in the public domain. So which means only can go 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 go. Originality be found in the public. We are one. Why do a dad than you? Tabi kita mla yematik bano kupo biele. We are kato shele ne kita mla yemak bano. But having said that, e tele me kalo. Iya omonye. Do we have anyone that can speak Yoruba here? Do we have anyone? How many of you can speak Yoruba before I start? Because once I start, I will kick start and I will go straight. Do we have anyone that can speak Yoruba? Can you let me know if you can speak Yoruba now before I start? Once I start, I am not going to reverse back because I'm already on the road. Oh, Lawrence. Oh, yeah, Lawrence, share it then if you want me to speak English. Oh, yeah, share it. If you want me to speak English, share it. Share it to your people that speak English as well, so that you will not be Yoruba alone. Didi, oh yeah, share it. All of you, if you want me to speak English, oh yeah, share it. Share it onto the timeline so that your non-Yorubas can join us as well. If you want me to speak English with this program, with this topic, could be the complicated nature of the topic, hence the urgency. Oh yeah, keep sharing. Mm. 
you have to share it. If you can't speak Yoruba and you want me to speak in English, I you are welcome and I recognize you. I'm going to speak in English because of you, unless you have told me that you have shared it. So I'm waiting for Joy. I'm waiting for SB Bash. I'm waiting for UDD. I'm waiting for Lizzie Kingsley. I'm waiting for all of you. I'm glad that you are all here, non Yorubas, and I welcome you on board. Uh, this is very important to me and I want people to take it seriously because I'm a mother and if you're a mother, you will understand where I'm coming from. So please share it. Mrs. Flores, please share it on your timeline. You are the mother of this time, your this timeline. So share it, share it, everybody. Yes, please share it. Don't let us be selfish. That's what you will buy again. No, 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 don't do that. Let's share it now and let's go into English. Now, the scenario, the mother of those children that are affected she said, I am a 52-year-old woman, a widow and a mother of three ch children, a boy of 17 years and two girls of 15 years and 13 years. I am an international civil servant and a practicing Christian. I am not writing to you to look for a spouse. So she's not looking for a husband. I'm not writing to you to look for a spouse, but to send a heartfelt cry to all parents and also to ask for advice. To send a heartfelt cry to all parents and to seek for ad advice. In fact, I live with my three children in my house. I am usually at the office all day long and except weekends when I am at home. That is the lady talking at the moment. She's 52, year old, uh, 52 years old. She has three children, 17, 15 and 13. And she's a widow, single parent. She's not looking for husband. She's only looking for our heartfelt cry and advice. And since the authorities stopped the uh, classes, I have forbidden my children to go out. They are confined since the beginning. There is only the cleaning girl who comes to work and leave. A cleaning girl comes to the house to work and leave the house. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As for the children, I keep a close eye on them. But today I am overwhelmed by what is happening. Every month I check that my daughters are well. Because the older one often has, has a stomach aches when she's in good health. So I get along each time. But hard enough, in April, she didn't know, she didn't show anything. And I noticed early signs of pregnancy. So I asked her to, I asked her to collect some, some, some of her urine samples in the morning. And then I did the GIT, which turned out positive. It didn't tell me much. In the evening, I went back to her room to discuss calmly with her to find out who is the author of this pregnancy. Don't forget, the girls are just 13 years and 15 years old. To my great surprise, it is with tears in her eyes that she told me that it is her older brother and that since the cessation of classes, this is what they do at home when I am not there, even with the youngest. Hmm. That is when I remember that she too is not in period for a long time because her period began at the age of 11 years. So I undertook to do her, her own check as well. Unfortunately, it is the same case. Always calmly, I called my son to ask him what really happened. He admitted the fact with his sisters and he has been out of the house since last night. The mom has not heard of him. Since they asked me about the situation of things, he admitted that he's the one that did it. I really need your advice. I am devastated. I see my dreams shattered. So she said she has seen her dream being shattered after so many years of her consecration. Her husband has been dead since 2009 and she's in charge of everything. She doesn't know what to do. She wants to see her children grow up together and become responsible people. But with what is happening to her, she has no strength left in her. She has thought about abortion, but she's a believer and her faith doesn't allow her. What do you think? What do you think? She is a believer. Her faith does not allow her. Now let's get the scenario right here because your, your, your assistance is highly needed and your advice is highly needed in this case. Let me tell you, when this telephone, uh, uh, when this message came into me, believe me, I cried inside me when I look when, when I got the WhatsApp message, my voice changed immediately. I took it off the speaker immediately. 
And when I was communicating with the responsible adults that put the information before me, I really shed tears inside me. I was on my corner table working today. When the message came in, immediately I have to stand up and went into the garden to go and take that mess to go and discuss the message with the person who gave the message to me and find out what happened. Then he asked me to look at it that my timeline would be appropriate place to look at this matter. My sisters and my brothers, fellow women that are out there, my heart is really, really pained with this situation. As a woman, I felt so bad for this woman. In fact, I don't know what to do. So I am seeking your advice. You understand? The first thing we are asking you about these two girls, what did she do? What can she do? The woman is saying that she is a Christian. I have opinion. I can easily give this advice without coming to your time. To, they are coming to public. Don't forget. But in this case, we want to dialogue. We want to talk about it. We want to discuss it together. I'm on 07908 It's a matter that makes me so cry inside me. I'm a very strong woman, but when it comes to the issue of children, I take matters very serious in a different dimension entirely. I am really, really sad. I feel for that woman, and I'm saying in my heart, Oh Lord, oh Lord God, please, please, just don't let that pregnancy be too big for us to talk about. That's what I'm praying for now. So ladies and gentlemen, I need your phone call. Are you calling for this matter? Hello? Are you calling for this matter? Pardon? Yes, you are calling for us. Thank you. So, so I'm going to put... Thank you. So I'm putting your speaker. Please, go ahead. And my first of all to say to the lady, she should not blame herself. She has really tried. As a widow, bringing up even one children is not easy, talk less of three. Mm -hmm. She you just, she, she, she does not need to blame herself at the moment now. Mm. She just, we just had that she, she tried with three kids. So please tell her to blame herself, but that's when we make her to be thinking a lot of bad things going on. That, oh, maybe I'm, it's my fault because I'm working. You need to work. Because if you don't work, the kids are not going to see you as a very working parent. It might affect them as well in life. So, secondly, no abortion. Don't abort those kids. Ah. Because God has given those children. No. no, I know that's the next thing people will think. You can, God give you a life. It's not a power to, to, take, to take away that life. No. It has happened. God will give her direction. If God did not want it to happen, yeah, maybe the pregnancy before it grew. It might have, um, you know, what they call uh, miscarriages. So let us leave God in that situation. Please, no abortion. It might be the only children, the kids that those kids may have in future. A lot of abortion come with mistakes. And the boy, I don't know. I just hope they can look for the boy not to go and commit another thing that I don't want to mention. It might be, I don't know, can we? I don't know. In this situation, the lady seek the eye of God. Prayer by herself. Don't start seeking for advice everywhere. God will direct you. Thank you, ma'am. God will direct her. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Hello. Hello. I hope you hear the last caller, everybody. I hope you hear the last caller's opinion. Please go ahead. Hello, ma. Yeah, please go ahead. Thank you. Um, shall I speak it in Yoruba or in English? Um, <laughs> speak English. Okay. Um, this is my first time of watching your program. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. And when I listen to the story, it's so, so, so sad. If it's an outsider, it's a different thing. But the same sibling, man, nah, is very wrong. Mm -hmm. The only thing I would advise the woman is faith or no faith, we are all believers. But that is a very strong thing to happen. 
In this case, she needs God. And there is no way. I'm not saying abortion is the option, but she needs to sit down and seek God's face. Because there's no way those children can have those babies. Having it in mind that it's from their brother. Ah. Mommy, it's 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 too it's too great to handle. She should seek God's face. I heard what the first caller said that oh maybe ab abortion is not the option. I'm trying to be skeptical about it. But uh, it's too heavy. Leaving them to have the baby. And knowing that, oh, this baby is from the brother, the same mom, the same dad. You know, it's, it's not right at all. It's not, it's not right. Mm. It's not right. It's not right. I'm a mother too. I've got children. Mm. But it's not right. Thank you, ma. Yes, ma. Thank you. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Please go ahead. Hello. Yeah, hello. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. Uh, it's first time I'm also watching your program. Thanks for your effort. May God uh, bless you. Amen, ma. Thank you. And we want you abundant for all this uh, free information uh, I had you been uh, passing over to the whole world freely. One of my friends was telling me. <laughs> we, just, we just pray that the uh, Almighty God will reward you according to your intention. Amen. Because I believe a lot of people was, uh, are learning on it. Okay. As regards to the, um, what you brought on life today, mm. uh, because of where we come from, uh, uh, as uh, Europe or Nigeria or Africa as a whole, mm -hmm. It's a big taboo and it's very sad. I feel very sympathy to the woman. Mm -hmm. I feel very sympathy. But in my own opinion, as uh, what I believe in, uh, I don't think it's, it's, uh, it's advisable for the woman if the pregnancy is so early. To me personally, I believe uh, abortion is the best thing for. Because uh, I don't see how you're going to explain to this young uh, uh, child when he's born to the world in the future. Mm. What kind of explanation are you going to explain to them when they go up as an adult to say your dad and your mom, their brother and sister, mm. it's uncalled for. Mm. Mm. It's, mm. it's not advisable at all. Mm. If the pregnancy is still something that is terminable, mm. that can they can terminate it, I would rather advise them to, to terminate both the pregnancy and they move on, separate them, mm. not living together, they should start a new life. And she, the woman should not, to make sure she, did, she didn't... Um, Exposed what's happened between the children to a lot of people outside mm -hmm. because you know, people said that they think they were eating God or were eating God here. People will start spreading it, spreading it, spreading mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. and it will be very something that will be uh, very ashamed of to the family. She should very keep it very secretly to herself and make sure try. That's my opinion. I don't believe everybody should agree with it, mm -hmm. but uh, to, to abort it is the best option. It's the best option. It's the best option. It will be good for the for the for the for the children as well. They can in the future turn turn a new life to their life, be a good person, and uh, marry someone else in the future and start a new life for, for themselves without anybody knowing what they've gone through in the past mm. to their future husband or yeah. future wife. Mm. That's my personal view. Thank, Thank you very much. God bless Thank you. you. Yeah, Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. I'm evening. calling regarding the current case. Yeah. So I have three different um, opinions. The first would be, I would advise the woman to let the children abort the babies because by law, social worker may ask her where she was, where all these things happened. Mm -hmm. So she will be complicated as well. And um, even by the medical aspect as well, even when she takes the children for abortion, they would want to know how it happened. So it's a very delicate case. Mm -hmm. If she wants the children to have the baby, mm -hmm. then the best thing would be to give the children how to 
adoption. Hmm. That's that's the that's the other option. And the third part will be, of course, the result. Everything back to God. But you know, it, it's a very delicate case. Hmm. So that that's my opinion. Because if in this kind of case now, she has a legal case to face with the government, and she has a medical case to face with the you know medical part as well. So. Mm-hmm. And she has a personal case to face with the, with the children themselves. So, and I think to in the aspect of the mother as well, mm-hmm. um, I think she needs a male figure to speak to the son mm-hmm. once she gets hold of the son, mm-hmm. because there is no male figure to explain to him. It's very normal for young people to have all this um, sexual vibe at that earlier age, but maybe the, the male child and the female child don't have enough knowledge, even though the school are giving lots of education about it. I don't think they understand the in-depth of the consequences. Mm. You know, and now with the new um, governmental um, opinion on having the sexual lessons and all that, I don't think the children understand that they're not meant to get their um, their siblings involved in that coming in, if, if, if you understand what I'm saying. Mm. So it, it's a very delicate case, and I think we have to weigh different sides. We need to think about the medical side, the legal side, which is, of course, with the government. And, you know, so what's going to happen to the boy if the police and social worker gets involved? And what's going to happen to the to the other two kids? There's a chances of the woman losing all her children in this case because they would ask her, where has she been? And how can that happen under our watch? So that, that's my take, ma. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's take you back to the topic we are talking about. For those who are just coming in uh, um, to, the, to join us on this platform, you are all welcome. What we're talking about here on this platform today, it's to do with an incest um, issue of having uh, a, a brother pregnant, uh, impregnate uh, his two siblings. You know, the brother's age is 17 and the sisters are 15 and 13 respectively. You know, so... Um, the mother, she's a single mother and she's a widow and she has been performing excellently well in taking care of her children. When someone says they are international civil servant, I'm looking at diplomatic side of it. When they say they are international civil servant, it means that they work for foreign office. It could be a foreign office, embassy that the mom is working for. So she's pulling her weight. She's doing very well. But um, I don't want to talk my opinion now. Let's carry on. Hello. So what the mom is asking is, the mom wants us to ask the world is whether she should keep the pregnancy or she should abort them. Hello, please go ahead. Hello. I'm Kenny Omade and I'm calling from Dublin. Okay. In my own opinion, I'm not a lawyer, but in my opinion, I would suggest abortion is not the proper way because the near future, the girls might be difficult in conceiving. It might be difficult for them to conceive. But my own just suggestion would be like, the lady needs to get injection against the boy. He needs to send that boy away from their house. And they need to involve the government. It doesn't matter. The lady needs to come, the woman, the mother needs to come clean. She, she's not the one that impregnated the girls. So she needs to complain. We need to start thinking straight like Europeans. We don't need to start thinking like Africans. And if you're thinking like Africans, it's like you're trying to put things under the carpet. Mm. And the thing is, those girls need to keep the pregnancy. Just imagine mm. the near future. If they're terminating this pregnancy and they can't have a baby anymore, what would that be for them? So the best place here is to send the lad away from the house. And to send the lad away, the lady needs an injection against the boy. I'm not a lawyer, but I'm just talking from my own experience because I don't have a kid in my marriage and that crashed to my marriage. So just imagine in future, how would those girls deal with the thing? Because this is not an end to this. So abortion is not the solution to this situation. That's just my own opinion. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We're still here waiting for more people to call in. So this is what we want to dialogue on today. And we're going to look at it step by step and, and advise the mother what we think it is the right thing to do. 
you know, uh, the right way forward. But there are things that we need to, you know, to, to um, iron out before we can give the final advice. So let's wait. Hello? Hello? I don't know whether you know I'm, I'm on the live chat and I'm doing a program. Who is this? Yeah, I'm actually trying to call and uh, so contribute to the program, to the live program. Oh, so you're calling on the wrong number then because the number you are using is wrong completely. Oh, yeah. Yes. Let me put you on speaker and quickly go ahead. join your, your life programs and all that. But this issue, I have seen read through the charts, people's contribution, everybody saying abortion, 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 abortion. Abortion is never a solution for anything, no matter what. It is a sin against humanity. It is a sin against God. Whether those children are children of incest or not, they are human beings, they have their own life. Abortion is out completely out of the question. Now, the only solution to worry, somebody spoke, somebody talk, that's okay. The best way to handle this matter is to send the children out uh, for to put them out for adoption. Okay? They put them out for adoption and they close the door. Okay? There is nothing like our motto be my own the moment. There is nothing like that at all. Because we to talk automatically, but when they were educated uh, in this case, called educated, that is not, you know, it's not allowed no matter what. So abortion is out of the question. And can it to ban to ban abortion all the way to me near me pay You know, we don't want to talk about that. You just give us your opinion and then we look at abortion is not my my thing is abortion is not the solution. The solution okay. is have the children put them out for adoption. So no GG. I want you to say my adopt them all in Asia, America, everywhere. You can say to Zara, but you can boom and morara. You know. So I think that is the situation. But they educate our woman yet. And actually, the experience you go my teacher can realize we pay it is a taboo in cutting one shape. And it will never happen again. And don't more correct that you really know only need counseling. They need to give him Serious counseling and made him realize we pay the room compare with your computer or shell. Like, yeah, over there, we don't want to watch some kind of punishment. All right, thank you. Yeah, that's my contribution. Thank you. God bless. Hello, 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 Please go ahead. Yeah, um, I just want to uh, make a little bit of contribution about what, uh, what, what uh, the case on ground. You see, uh, it's a difficult situation uh, because it's very easy for me to say, give us our own opinion. Because we are not the only Because uh, I would say something that is very rare, like it's a real thing. That you know, all we express in our life. You know, so it's very easy for us to say, oh, we don't adopt. Hold, hold on, hold on. America, but you think you know you can't get through now. So why don't you call back? America, somebody's already on the line. You can see the effect already that someone is talking. At least this is not UK anymore. America, wait now until the UK finishes our his own talk. Please go ahead. Okay, so as I was saying, so it's a very serious talk. What I would suggest, what I would suggest, I know it may sound somehow, you see, abortion is the only way to that every one of them can be healed from this whole thing. 
Because don't forget, this is Delhi is going to carry the pregnancy for nine months. How are they going to cook for that nine months? Because when you're going to give the birth, they are going to register the, the baby at the hospital to an address. And they will do some findings to find out what has happened. Mm-hmm. See, it's a very complicated issue for people saying, oh, they should not abort. It's, it's, a very, it's, it's not that straightforward. But well, now, back to the mom. I think the mom, I don't know what, what you know, what the mom has, what lessons she has taught those kids. Because nowadays, sometimes we neglect thinking, oh, they are still very young, they don't know anything. It is a lesson for every parent now to start learning that as early as possible, we need to start teaching those kids. You know, all of my coffee or washing, let's see. No. In fact, I think that they should lead me to what they are. This can you please can you please share this program and let other take common sense from this let other mothers see it please please share this program please let us share it i have 40 something thousand on the platform i just don't i just don't like talking like a father christmas if it's those pastors you will share it 21 times 2600 will be watching them live for babu and then now this is this is something that is very very important to homes and you can't we can't share it what for I'm not making Father Christmas here for people to come and look me. I didn't dress up for anybody to look me to. I'm not looking for a husband. I dress up for my destiny. <laughs> no, it's true. Because if that's what brought people here, we should get this right. I dress up to make myself look good because that's the way I've always been. I didn't dress up because I'm looking for somebody. This is the way I dress. I dress up when I, leave, when I was leaving my house. My husband saw me already when I left home. So please, share this program and let other people see it. And let them make common sense from this. I'm not in the mood to make the joke now. Please go ahead. So, uh, as I was saying, we need to, every prayer needs to key into this whole program that is going on. Because we need to, it's a big lesson, to, it's a big wake up for every parent. It's a big wake up for every parent, thinking that oh, my security. It's not oh, my security. we are in a civilized world. In fact, exactly. it's not the age that, uh, you know. If that it's where they are fighting, now people will share it. Eh? You share people that are doing boundaries. And then when we are doing educational program, you will share it. I like, don't understand us. Eh? When people are doing bantries, turn be but one boy, to one banter, to one damage, to one let turn 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 the the the, the money should be personality characters. You will share those program. You will share it when it's in very important things like this happening. Do we know how many homes is suffering with this kind of situation? Eh? Cha ma ye leto ji alo waba i. Do we know how many people that are covering this shame to themselves that can't put it out there? Do we know them? Eh? This is not a funny matter anymore. Oh, only oh, you talk about it. We won't go and cry now. Benny, Benny, ma. Benny, ma. Hey, let's share it. Don't be selfish of anything. Don't say because you don't want people to see you live. Because you can forget about whoever is seeing you on, on the live program. Pillow, come on. This is very important. Let's share it. Let's share it. If you don't have the human feelings, I have it. Let's share it to help people to, for them to listen to this advice and make common sense from it. A lot of mothers are very careless. They leave boy and girl in the house and go to work from morning till night. There is no father figure there. This is a lot of lesson for people to take away from. You understand? Most of the homes that were having problem home, you know, because if both parties are in the house, one would have been in the in the, in, in the house and, and, and be vigilant as a father figure in their lives. And unfortunately, she's a widow. But this is very this is this this topic is very important, and I want people to take it very important as well. So don't let, don't let people people just don't come and look at me as as a fashionista. I'm not a fashionista. I'm a lawyer. So there's nothing to showcase for anybody. It's the way I dress. It's where I make myself happy. I dress every time, even if I'm going to my corner shop to buy to buy ordinary one thing. I dress up. People know me. So it's not a new thing to me to dress up. Let's concentrate on the topic before D. Please, let's concentrate and let's share it. Let people get it. That's why you asked me to do it in English. And I'm doing it in English. Is it because I'm not doing it in Yoruba? That's why people are not coming up. Because I know when I do Yoruba program, 700, 800 will be here as well. But don't let that take you away. Listen to us. Share it. Let people pick it up. My brother, Etes, why do you carry? And it's not fair because the country doesn't concern you directly, doesn't mean you should ignore it. Exactly. 
I didn't plan for this topic now, but I have to deviate. I have to divert immediately that they send it to me and say, listen, to Kumbo, this is what we want you to go and do on your program. That is the purpose of a timeline like that. And it's true. I, I bring out my timeline to educate people. I've told you yesterday, apart from doing my legal work to showcase my, my skills to the world, another skill that I have is things like this, and I cannot hide it. Please go ahead. If I still want to work till nine o'clock, I still have work that I imminent. I have to postpone them till tomorrow. There are applications that are supposed to attend to for the home office. There are documents that the home office wanted that that I I supposed to attend to. But this comes first, so I work till five o'clock and I stop my work today because I want to do this program six o'clock today. So let's understand it. You told me to speak in English so that everybody can have understanding of it. So share it on your timeline. Mommy, don't get don't get angry, ma. God will also attend to your own case, my language alone, ma. Share me, share when when the things comes to uh, issue about today or all mommy or buy on February, because I can imagine what that woman will be going through in her life, in her it's mind. Sad. A widow for that matter. Hey, get it. It's it's a lot. It's a uh -huh. lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, so yeah, what I'm, I'm going to block you for what you have said to me. The only, to to you the only thing I advise this woman at this moment mm. is to see how that baby can be get rid of. Mm. I know some of us may bring some spirituality to it. You know, we know we are so religious in Nigeria. Exactly. But the question is that no matter what, we can still ask for forgiveness. Um. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this crap telling me I'm on a live broadcast. But I better lose some old timeline for me. <laughs> Is your father pay this timeline for me? Or did your father send me to university to study law? You are such an ingrate. Please go ahead. So, as I was saying, Ma, you know, we can, she, they can easily ask for forgiveness and they will bring, bring a closure and try to reorient, try to work on those. Yeah, keep my mind. You see, the problem now on ground is not the issue to start throwing blame whether the mom was at fault, whether it was mom that you know. Because they just get they just keep, if they know very well the repercussion of what they have done, they would not have done it. They would they would have ventured into such a, a you know such a mess. But what we need to do is to leave all this blame game and see how we can help. We are, not gonna, we are not going to we are not going to we are not going to insult anybody bringing out their opinion. We brought this topic out here as a mother, so that you guys can give us your, as a father, as a mother, so that you can give opinion. So when anybody put their opinion either on a timeline or they are speaking, please don't pass insult. Please don't pass insult to anybody. Not you, not you, not you. I'm, li I'm leaving comments. Please don't pass insult to anybody. It won't help us. We, where we are heading to, we need, we need to have opinion. And the only way we can have this thing is to go through people's comments and people making phone calls to us. So please, don't insult them when they give opinion or when they put their comments out there. No, 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 Umba. That one is not acceptable. Please go ahead. So, as I was saying, at this moment, the mother has to be strong at this moment. Because she's the only one now. No first man. And it's not something that he can be shared with everybody. Exactly. She has to be strong at this moment. Well, so one, Banu, so not be your solo one. Ah. Okay. Oh, okay. Baba woman, Baba woman, you slay your tiku, Abi. She be my bamboo leg, but Baba wala blue, Baba wala near Raleigh, and Mokata wala your cosy masoni. And they come out so lucky, man, will give opinion. You know, so. As I was saying, ma, we is a Russian who couldn't say it's a ghost or to tell you, I'm a baby for this. So the woman has to be strong and put her head up and fight for this this whole thing to make sure that this old man does not have any future of those children. Hmm. Because if the woman allowed this thing to get to her, the calamity will be too much because the woman cannot afford to break down. Because that would be the, that would be that would be that would be serious. Exactly. So that means we have to look at everything. We have to give a, a, a genuine opinion to help this woman because anything we are going to say now 
to bring this woman to start making her feeling down will be, will be too much. Mm. There's a lot going on in her life at the moment. So we should look for a way to encourage this woman. You know, if, if, if it's possible, they should look for a way to separate those children first. Because mm. number one, there's no way they can stay together. It's at the moment. They can't stay it's under the same roof. So we should, they should look for a way to make sure they get rid of that pregnancy and close that. They should just close that chapter and move on. Hmm. So having that baby, ma, it will bring you back memory. It, it will be bringing you back memory. And hmm. what happens tomorrow if the boy decides that he wants to say, if the boy decides that I want to have my son, where's the boy? Hmm. So what will what will the mother be telling the son? Mm. Because tomorrow the boy can change. I'm like, I want to have my son. No matter what happens, I want to have my son. Mm. But I, I pray that God will direct them, you know, to a place that we, you know, the God will really help them out because this one is beyond anybody. Everybody can say whatever he wants, but it's, it's beyond anybody because the feeling is we're talking about blood here, yeah, blood, sister and brother and sister. Not even one person, two girls. I don't want to run in love, ma. And they shake on the head, ma. Emma wrote a one ton comment to Emma wrote one 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 Thank you, thank you. And it's your bad new and you will more yeni. And it's only when you look more more yeni. Don't tell me to speak English again. I get upset when people tell me to speak English. I intentionally want to speak English today because I want everybody to learn from this. Normally, this is a Yoruba program, supposed to be a Yoruba program this time. But if I give you that respect, then respect is as uh, is due to me in return, especially to my to my viewers. You know, so I don't I won't want anybody to reply back to any of my viewers and you are insulting them. I'm not gonna accept that. You can go to another timeline where it is acceptable, where you can throw bad trains, you can throw shade, but you can't throw shade here. Thank you. We are 07908 628240. 07908 Are you guys there? I'm just reading a message of uh, Alayi Lua. You know, I'm reading a message of one of the. There's no need to say one of the. I'm reading a message from Onirisha straight away. Me. Abi is kadi o pele wiki bata o pele se ki ru kere ko di ko di o kine mo mo teri bafun o ba la yuluwa aroli o dua o dete di second kadi o pele wiki bata me mo bi yu I saw your real light and I recognize you thank you sir I'm on a live program right now as you can see everyone so um you can see the topic we put out there. And your opinion is highly needed. Okay, America, Tarayi, Wali, Nisi. United States, how are you? Hello? Hello? Are you calling from US? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Can you hear me, ma'am? Yes, you are. I thought as much plus one. Please go ahead. I can hear you. I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, I can hear you. Yeah. So, thank you very much, Which state are you calling from, out of curiosity? Pennsylvania, is that because it's your PA? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you. Please go ahead. Yes, ma'am. So, I just wanted to say that um, for me, I think abortion is the way to go. 
mean, I've heard some of the callers saying that, oh, abortion is a sin. And I'm here thinking, but what about the incest? Incest mm-hmm. is a sin. So why not just, I mean, sin is sin, right? There's no sin that is bigger than the other sin. Mm-hmm. The deed has already been done. So, exactly. and um, I don't see any reason why the babies should be kept. To be, I mean, at this point, they are not even babies just yet. So I, I don't, I don't see any reason why their mom should keep, you know, the pregnancy just because. I mean, these are we're talking about two potential babies to be born. And what stories do you even want to tell them? Like, mm-hmm. do you want to, like, do you want them to grow up and then hear that oh, it was our um, our mom's brother that raped our mom, and then but and then the uh, the incident led to our birth. Thank you, Madam like, Ankara, like, for sharing hear, it. Twenty people. You know, so Thank you. Who, who wants to hear that? Story, you know, when they grow up. So, so I think keeping the pregnancy will just continue to, you know, create bad memories for the family. It would even complicate the um, the lives of the two girls involved because at, at this point they already they would be in some form of trauma at this point. So by the time they have the baby and then they will go through that pregnancy ordeals and then have the child and I, I think it's just too much bad memories for yes, anybody to yes. keep. So for me, I'm a Christian and on a very good day, if you wake me up and say, oh, would you support abortion? I would say no, but wisdom is profitable to direct. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes you just need to weigh situations mm-hmm. and, you know, do what is best for you per time. Mm-hmm. And God understands. Even mm-hmm. the Bible says that we don't have a high priest who does not feel what we feel, who does not, who, who does not understand what we go through. We are human beings. Mm-hmm. We are all human beings and we should, we should stop playing spiritual games like, oh no, ah, no, God is God, we, oh no, is, come on, we are human beings. There are so many people here who nothing upon is not their brother that impregnated them and they've had abortions in their life, multiple abortions. Did God kill them? Did they not have children after that? And apart from the fact that we are even talking about incest here, there is also the congenital issues part as well. These babies could be delivered with some form of, some form of deformity. We are talking of a very close similar uh, similar DNA uh, pool here. Mm. This is brother, direct brother to direct sister. So what if the, the, the sisters have this children and then something happened and then these babies are born deformed? You know, I mean, I mean, it's already a bad situation. It can't be worse than this. I think mm-hmm. their mom is very unfortunate you know, for her to go through this, you know, kind of, um, you know, ordeal and this kind of, um, um, you know, problem in her life. But I think she should just face it. We all need to face it. You know, it's easy to come out and, and, and just give people advice. But sometimes we need to take a pause and think. If it was you, what are you going to do? Or maybe two sisters, put down for their brother. Uh, I think they should abort that. Uh, the babies. I think so. Okay, I mean, putting them up for ad- adoption too will necessarily not solve the problem. They always remember that, oh, the kids are somewhere. And who knows? The kids might grow up and start asking questions. And then they will tell them again when they grow up, oh, it was your bro. Come on. I think at this point, they are still fetus. They are, they are just tissues yet. I mean, they are, they, they are not babies just yet. They are mm-hmm. tissues. They can be. They should just get rid of them mm-hmm. and not bring them to this I think so, and that's my two friends. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Yes. Hello. Hello, me. Yes, hello, dear. I just want to say to see pregnant on the line. Oh, yeah, I continue. Um, may the good Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes I wonder how Nigerians, how some people, um, just gives some uncertain advice. When he came on Coco Fin Koshiare, we know what to tell him. If there were to be the mother of those children, you know, yeah, we know they do get no fun. Bure we do, you can only go keep money. Some people are just naturally wicked. Oh no, we need to marry my daddy. You go go cut your own way to see. In fact, the family needs total deliverance. And besides that, it is never going to be a good memory for their mother. Come and watch our mother. Just 
Olorun lo Olorun ba to da wa saye, oba to ma fori je edanu. Ko si ko si we Jesus si. Ateni to pa yan, ateni to pa ro, ateni to ba burosun. Lo to loju awon eyan, o ju ara lo, o ju opo ju ara lo, sugbon Olorun wa, Alaanu ni won. Alaanu ni Olorun wa. O de ma fori je awon omo yen, atepo ataburo ati idile won. Olorun Olujumare a fi ori ji won. But as for me oh, as a woman, I would never ever advise such mother or advise such baby to be born. Don't you kill me? Only can you cook? But I but I only can go for your guitar while you just tell me. And people going to share why it is easier said than done for some people not to be realistic about this matter. Oda ke ama wa holier than thou. So for me, oh, I think. I want to ban so they can keep on money. Come back to her. Give her a share of the money. Oh, can you push her money? Come on, my boy, keep on money. I don't want to keep on money. So that's just my contribution. Thank you. Good God bless you, man. You're doing so well. It's a very touching topic. I even be as a parent, as a parent, but can be bleed when I was listening to it. Yeah, you can't have me no money. In fact, already, 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 ideally, I've never ever in my life called on any show. But I be a motto, talk about the topic. Or I pay ten new, I be a money, take a shamot on my salon door and like sila or anywhere in the world. Oh, I have a whole lot of more. They will know this is a serious spiritual issue. Or no, you know, I know them and two today sila. I pay dinner, I had a daddy, I won't worry. So that's just my own contribution. My God bless you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I have a few minutes more to collect information before I come to conclusion. And I think I want to stop people calling in now. Okay, after this person, I will stop people calling in. Then I read comments as well. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, please go ahead. Okay, mommy, um, this is my second time of contributing because... Me tell you, me you be or is you you call or call as a mother. Who will imagine? It's too serious. People were saying, oh, don't do that. It's, it's no, it's not acceptable. It's, it's against God's law. We all know God. Allah will Like the last caller said, because be more sure why you go. I'm having a headache. I can't even place it. In country or dark or dark. And I want you to read me. What is okay? We are not your wife. Nothing will happen to those kids by God's grace. Nothing will happen to them. They will live their lives to the fullest. But this issue on ground, they should just get rid of it. You will not go away. No, so we were doing my bit. If we can't clean it, shall we? So you back on the cocoa, you cool the light light. And even the mother, mommy, all my decorate, you put a woman in Luba, to marry a woman. When we are going to be more adopt, but they will still have the mind to say, oh, oh, my own one be cool. Or more going away, you know, I'm not okay. In cotton, we see me. When all this thing is cleared out, come back to our family to start a new life. All of them are worried about doing more. All of real women, yeah, they all show a lot of real women. People, some people are blaming the woman, but anything on local, oh my sister, oh they're not so drunk, oh my, but oh my, oh need. Can you like it more about life? You compare your kinship, you compare your manship. Can you see your joy, mommy? Can you watch him marry? Or not really much? So we worry for me. I can't even place it. Or not when you just go share the sea. Any happy harmony will be poor. Can future will our money say what? Family or come? Ah, no, mommy. I'm a mimo bolon bow. The no de la woman, shooting him. But in yet, I pay down the last thing I am a sheep. 
take calls for that. I know someone is present to call in and yeah, but I'm not going to take calls anymore. The reason why I will not take calls is because of time constraint. I like to work within time. You know, I like to work within time. So, um, I'm going to switch off 
since the since the call is not from America and it's within the United Kingdom, I want to switch off what he's calling before the switch off come up because I want to talk about it. Can you can you quickly give us your advice? Abortion or no abortion, and what is the reason? I know. Can you quickly hey. give us your opinion? Ab abortion or not abortion? Hey, uh, I'm sorry. Am I allowed to actually speak your Obama? Like, three issues to one, like, push to me, Pamela. I don't tell you, but Mr. English College has only been born. People are going thing. to complain now because I've already let them enjoy it. So, okay. uh, mix it. Uh, Emma, mix it. Uh, Try to mix it up. Okay. Try to mix it. Okay. Um, without wasting much of the time, uh, um, we are looking for Lazaro or the date we will take almost take three minutes to make it. I'm not take me or King Camilla Ariba 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 or King
Now we've taken off the phone calls. I'm following the comment as well at the same time. Good evening to you, Diola. How are you? I'm following the comment at the same time and I'm looking at it. You know, I'm looking at the comment. Now, to make decision from the comment I've seen here, it's up to the woman, to the owner, to go and pull up this video. But in terms of my opinion, let me take you guys through it so you will know my mind. First of all, for those who are just joining us for the first time, we're talking about incest sex. Incest sex is, is sex between siblings or family related. In the UK, it is a criminal offense. In the United Kingdom, it's a criminal offense. And in the US, it is also an offense. Now, the incest, the reason why we say incest is that the mother of the child of the three children, she's 52 year old, she has a, she's a widow, she has those three children, 15 years, 17 years, and 13 years. The boy is 15, the two girls. I'm explaining because of those of you that just joined us here. Yeah? The boy is 15, uh, 17, the two girls are 15 and 13, respectively. He, he, he the, the boy 17 years impregnates his siblings, the two sisters. There's no need to tell you about the scenario of a, a relation period of this period. There is no need to read, to read that comment anymore. But the one that is important for you to know is that there is a sexual activity going on between siblings inside the same house. You understand? The mother, she's a widow, single parent. So, and she's a good mother, international civil servant, which means that she's a diplomat. International civil servant would mean she's a diplomat, either for foreign office or for embassy. But international civil servant has to be a diplomat. Forget about that because she put her job there. So we need to interpret what job she's doing. Why? What happened? She says she's always been in charge. She has never left them on their own. She has never been a careless mother that go astray. And it is true. If you look at it, civil servant has a good time on their belt. So civil servant closed about 3.34 o'clock, 4.35. In, all over the world so they don't work late like doctors or nurses that has shift work so that's one side but this has happened now the, bro the brother impregnates one two the two sisters at the same time possibly respectively at the same time it's a big issue on the mother she needed advice this thing has been treated on one timeline it possibly did not generate more viewers more like us i think that is why they bring it to me as a lawyer and say listen to Kumbo Olagbaye, take this case for us. This is not the case I was going to treat today. I was going to treat something differently. That's why I made an example of going through M25. There is a phone call that says, turn back, you can't go through M25 anymore. I want you urgently to pass through A406 or A13. If you know your, your London very well and you know your UK very well, you can see the way I have turned. So to turn like that, it means that I have to drop everything on that road completely and leave that road and move to, and use local road to go and connect back to other route that would link me back to 813 or, an, or A406. Now, for those of you who know the description, you understand with me very well. Now, this thing has happened, it has happened. Uh, uh, the decision I want to make here, and advice I want to give to the mother, I have checked what incest is by law. Incest is sexual activities with a person from with, with the immediate family. With a person from a person with the immediate family. So incest is what they have committed in the first instance. Let's get that right. So there's a sexual activities between siblings, which is against the law. And in the eyes of God, in the eyes of God, it is immoral. It is against, it is against God. It is against uh, our religion. It's a sin against God as well. It is immoral. So that is that one. Now in England, how do we apportion it? In England and Wales, the Sexual Offenses Act 2003 has created it as an offense of a familiar sexual... Let me, let me read it out properly for you guys. In England and Wales, the Sexual Offenses Act 2003 created an offense of familiar sexual abuse. Now, for it to be a sexual abuse, the aim of the law was to protect the children up to the age of 18 from any form of activities that a person would consider sexual or indecent. So it's an offense. The offender may be an adult or another child. It rec recognizes the modern family unit and it defines family sexual abuse as being between person and their parents. So the sexual abuse can be between person and their parent, grandparent, child, grandchild, siblings or half-siblings, uncle, aunt, nephew or niece. 
I've been told that there are fathers in this country that sleep with their daughters as well. You have killed yourself before your time. If you are one of those man, men, even in Nigeria, I've been told that some men in Nigeria are so gullible and useless and have sex with their daughters. In fact, you have killed yourself before your lifetime. Kill far a year. To ba wasa ye to ba omo to bini no to ba sun. Be lo bere won to ni ta ni. Fi yen sile. So it's a great offense. Under criminal uh, code act, which we've seen it as well. And the offenses have been redrafted even on another island in the sexual offenses 2018 order as well. It is an offense. In the US, it is it's an offense. These are the popular word I'm talking about now. It's an offense. Nigeria can come up now with another story entirely. I don't want to treat them because they can say it is right in the, within their law. I don't want to talk about them anymore. You understand? But under the Western Code, United Kingdom, that I am practicing my law, it is a criminal offense. You understand? Now, let's look at the abortion side of it. Let's look at the pregnancy. Now, in the UK, you can terminate pregnancy you can terminate pregnancy up to 24 weeks, up to 24 weeks in the United Kingdom. You can terminate pregnancy up to 24 weeks in the UK. So listen to everybody, should we abort or not, abortion or no abortion? A lot of people are saying no abortion, yes abortion, no abortion, yes abortion. Now let me take you through, we've seen the law guiding the incest, sexual at, uh, activities within a uh, family, it's against the law, between brothers and sisters, between uncle and his uh, ne ne niece, it's against the law, between child and father, it's against the law, between granddad and their grandchild or their daughter, it's against the law, uncle, aunties, it's against the law, so we've seen that and it's clear. Now, we're not looking at the abortion side of it. Abortion can take place before the 24th week. Immediately after 24th week, it will not be allowed in the United Kingdom. And I'm sure elsewhere they will put it, they will put it I elsewhere, elsewhere. Do you understand? It will be elsewhere as well in the law that this is the time that they can, they will have the cut off time to abort. In those days when I was, when I was at, at the law school, we're looking at who's got the right. We look at who's got the right to pregnancy. Who can determine abortion between the male owner and the female owner? Now, in this scenario, in this scenario, don't forget, under medical law, we will determine who can have the control to determine whether the abortion is appropriate between the two owners, male and female. It takes two people to put pregnancy there. Do you understand? Just continuously follow me on so that I don't just come to conclusion anyhow and you will not say, ah, you can like by what is I love conclude I want you to I want to take you through this journey. Now, because pregnancy is formed between two people, somebody else has ownership more than the other person, and that's the person that has the womb in her body that is carrying it. There are precedents about these cases, not this particular one, about who should say don't abort, do abort. But leave that aside because the fact remains that they cannot argue on whose, whose, whose body, who is the owner of the pregnancy that can control the, the abortion or not. They can't argue it in this case. The reason why they cannot argue the scenario is because one, it's a criminal offense for two siblings to sleep together. So the, the older one that, that created it will go to prison, which is the boy. He will go to prison. So follow me on quickly. The older one will go to prison because he's the perpetrator. The victim is innocent as presumed under law. But the, only, the perpetrator himself will go to prison under this code. <laughs> So, you are going to distract me. Any of you that is giving me fancy love, dear. All of you that's giving me love, dear. I, you are going to distract me for your right up. So, let's, let's take it on. Now, the three people that were involved in this situation are siblings. I have told you the criminal offense on the boy because he's the perpetrator. 
The girls are innocent, so they are victims. The boy will go to prison. You understand? The boy will go to prison. Now, let's move now. Let's leave that aside and know whether abortion is appropriate or not. I'm giving you a legal advice and I'm also giving opinion as a, as, as a mother. One, I am giving legal advice. Listen carefully, I am giving legal advice as a qualified lawyer, not just immigration lawyer, as a qualified lawyer because I did family law, I did medical law, and I did medical negligence, and I did tort. So, as a qualified lawyer that has practiced in this area, and I have seen cases in court in, through this period, I can give you advice, and I am giving you advice with my heart on as a solicitor of the Supreme Court of England and Wales, and I stand corrected. Now, the rest is for you to continue with it. The first advice I am giving you as a solicitor, as a qualified lawyer who knows what she's talking about, is that abortion is appropriate in this matter. Abortion is appropriate in this matter. The reason why abortion is appropriate in this matter is that you have the overall control of the things. The three children are all under 18. They are all under 18. So you are the mother that is in charge of this. If you fail to take abortion as the appropriate way of clearing this nonsense, nuisance thing, you are going to blame yourself later on because the government will be involved. If the pregnancy carries on, the government will be involved. The medical will alert them and there will be an investigation carried on to find out how it come about, how these two girls got pregnant for their brother. So, abortion is appropriate in this scenario. Regardless of opinion, abortion is appropriate. As a lawyer, abortion is appropriate so that you will save yourself from the government problem. You will save yourself from the legal issue. You will save yourself and then you will save that boy from going to prison. Because if he carries on, the boy will go to prison. There is no two ways about that. So I am giving a judgment as a lawyer. I am taking, I'm giving advice rather. I'm not giving judgment. I'm giving advice as a lawyer. Ab ab abortion is appropriate to save your face and to save yourself from stress of the legal battle and the medical negligence, medical uh, uh, experts opinion because they are going to come to you. They will chase you. The social services will also be on your neck. Because the two daughters are under age, completely way, way, way down. The 13 year old should not be left too much on her own. She'll have had 24 hours care and check on. Now, in your scenario that you have given us, madam, you have made a blunder. A, bl a, a blunder, a blunder. The reason why you made blunder there is that you were not even quickly picked it up that the second child, which is the 13 year old, was pregnant. You didn't know quickly. It was the scenario of the daughter, the first daughter, that alerted you to the fact that, hold on a minute, she has not come to me. I have not heard about her pregnancy, about her menstruation this month, because that is the interpretation of they are healthy every month. They are healthy. As a mother, that is the meaning. As a mother, that is the meaning of they are healthy. So abortion is appropriate to save your face from this nonsense. Regardless of what people will say, just do it once and for all. They cannot die. It is not one of those dirty abortions that they do in the, in the developing world that they mess up things. It is an abortion that they only take a swap. They, they, they use a kind of a swap and put it inside to clean up. They will clean up the fetus. The fe uh, the, the, what is it called? The tissues. It is the tissues that they are going to clean off. So they will clean it off completely. Now, the reason why the abortion is going to be appropriate is because if the pregnancy is not up to 24 weeks, madam, you are lucky and I congratulate you. If the pregnancy, if, if both pregnancies are not up to 24 weeks, I, I congratulate you. You are, you are lucky. Go ahead and do abortion for both two, both girls. Clear it off once and for all and save yourself from this nonsense legal battle believe me i am a lawyer 
you will not want to witness legal battle when it comes to things of this nature because you will be thrown into a situation whereby you will not be able to handle the stress. You will see on that day you will realize what they call legal, legal team. When we talk of legal team, it's not going to just be somebody like Leia Tokumbo, like Baye alone. It's going to be a superior of Leia Tokumbo and a superior, a superior, a superior that is going to come together as a team. There is going to be a med medical expert. There's going to be social worker on your case, social services. They will be checking and finding out from you what went wrong. How are you so careless? Now, the 13 and 15 year old will be withdrawn from you immediately. They will take away the 13 and 15 year old from you, madam, if the abortion is not done. The 17 year old will go to prison, madam, don't forget. At the end of the day, if you don't do abortion, you will lose those three children at the same time. Of what use? Because one will be in prison. They will imprison one, which is the boy, the perpetrator. The two children, the two daughters will be taken away from you. Madam, what will be your benefit of living on this planet? If those two, if those things, if that, if that happened, if that happened, what would be your benefit? So I am going to give you advice and I stand corrected. Abortion is a resolution. Abortion is the way forward. Abortion is the only thing that can save your face as a good mother. Abortion is the only thing that, are, that can continuously assist in you. Without that, madam, don't attempt it. Because if you do attempt it, you are going to waste your, your time. Hold on a second. Hello, sister. I'm on the program. Yeah, yeah. So, abortion is appropriate. There is no two ways about that. Yes. If you don't want to come across the good team, they will pieces you. So, my advice without repeating myself on that particular point, abortion is appropriate. Save yourself from legal battle. Save yourself from becoming a woman without children. Save yourself from that issue. Do abortion. Let them go ahead and let them and let them live happily once and for all. You know, and live happily, happily yourself. Now, after abortion is properly done, has been done correctly and perfectly done. The male child will have to move out of the house. It's a 17 year old child, but you can't keep him in the house anymore. The boy cannot be kept in the house anymore. So you will need to go and get a house for him. He needs to live separately where he can move with his girlfriends, where he can get 10, 10 or 15 girlfriends. If that is his problem, let him have three some, let him have four some on his bed. You need to work harder. You need money. Go and rent a separate apartment for the boy. The boy cannot continue continuously living in the house with those two girls anymore. After God has saved your face from this nonsense thing, let that boy go and live separately. Let him go and live outside. Yes, he cannot continue to be in the house anymore. So you need to allow him to live outside. Don't bring, don't, nobody should bring me anything religion issue at this time. Don't forget I am a, I am a die-hard Christian. Don't forget about that. I don't joke with my God. But this particular scenario, leave God aside. Leave God aside. There is no need to contact anybody about spiritual problem. Leave God aside. Because what I see in that boy, like that woman has said, is that she, he tested, he tested. He tested it, he's sweet, and he took advantage, and he's a rough boy, and he's a stupid boy. That boy does not deserve any pampering at all. He's a stupid boy, and he does not work with his head. He's careless. And I don't think he knows about the repercussion. Madam, that boy, you need to check the friends that he's moving with. You need to know his friends. Believe me, if you're not careful, this boy has already got some guns out there, got some boys out there, his friends, that are not useful to the community they are. So you need a lot of homework. There is nothing to do you about your religion, about you being a good woman. But this boy is having some group 
that you need to work on. You need to know his friends. You need to know what he's doing. But don't keep him in the house any longer. If you don't want to regret it, and let, let him come back and practice it again because he will do it again. So do not accommodate him in the house anymore. He will come, he will come and eat, and then we go. There is nothing to do with religion in this matter. There is nothing we can complain about other than it's a stupid boy. That boy is a stupid boy, and he needs to be told off. He ran out of the house because he has prepared his mind. He knew that's what he's going to do if you find out, madam. So let him go. Let him rent his own house. If he knows how to sleep with a lady, with girls, it means that you should, let, you should start him to go to work. I'm sure in the U.S., there's supposed to be a national insurance number for citizens or resi and residents. So get him, let him go and work. Because when a child is idle, when they are lazy, when they don't work, anything will happen and take, will occupy their mind. A child needs to be active economically in the labor market so that nothing will occupy their mind. And as a good mother, you must continuously have the meetings, having them in your lounge all the time, keeping them with you all the time. Because sometimes when maybe they stay in the room a lot. And during the time you are not around, of course, they are siblings. You won't think about it. But this is a lesson for all women, all parents out there to learn. And don't let me see anybody's comment that anybody will want to say and because it's somebody will want to say uh, because because it's a single parent. It's got nothing to do with single parenting at all. I do not want to read your comments to mention that it's a, maybe because it's a single parent at all. It has nothing to do with single parenting. It's got nothing to do with single parenting at all. It's got something to do with that boy mentality. And it has nothing to do with the mother individually or her personality. It's got nothing to do with the mother. It is the boy's stupidness, stupidity. It's the stupidity of that boy that needs to be checked on. They have to work on that stupidity. But as far as I'm concerned, he should not stay in the house again. They should go and find him apartment. If the mother will want to lie and say that him and his siblings are not getting on, so you want to have a place for him, you can go and rent him and get council property for him. If it's easy to get, uh, to get, he's 17, get him out of the house. He doesn't deserve a roof of that uh, settled place. Let him go and for the winner, let him go and see what is happening out there. So he will take his lesson from there. There is no need to keep that kind of a boy under your roof. I know that your Uba proverb says, I'm a You can't leave a but at the same time, you need to save your face. You need to save your other two daughters. Get him out of the house. If he can behave in that manner, he's useless, he's hopeless, he's, 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 he's rude. In fact, he's step on toes. So let him live outside. Let him go and walk. Let him go and suffer outside. Then he will use his common sense. He doesn't deserve to be in that com comfortable environment. I'm sorry, madam. You have worked hard enough and you are a good mother. We, you are a good mother. There is no doubt about that. And I want to tell you, I want to encourage you. Don't hurt yourself and don't kill yourself for this, on this matter. The, the, the situation here, the solution to this problem, abortion if it's still within 24 weeks. Abortion, 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 abortion. Don't forget. Clear it off once and for all and save your face. Because if you don't clear it off, the second reason why you should clear it off, madam, if you don't clear it off, the second reason why you should clear it off and clean your mouth as if nothing happened and clean your face is because of his father's family. I want to warn you, they will, they will talk down on you. They will think, ha, ah, if my brother were to be alive, if their father were to be alive, if my son were to be alive, that will not have happened. A war is a lie. It would have happened if it's going to happen. So you need to save yourself. You need to save yourself, your, your face, save your face from that nonsense talk. Yeah? Save yourself, madam. Clear, clear it off quickly and clear your face off as if nothing happened. 
and you start trusting God. This is when you have God next. If you don't clear it off, the father's family find out you are going to go for it for life, madam. You will regret it. That's the reason why you must, you must clear it off. Secondly, those two girls mate, the girls mate, they are going to be taking milk on them. Nine months, are you going to keep them in the house for nine months, madam? And nine months is even dangerous for a 13 year old to carry pregnancy. At the labor time, madam, anything can happen during labor. Adults that are grown ups, that are much, much older, 32, 33, they die during pregnancy, during childbearing, rather. I have a client that ran to me and cried on the day that his wife died during uh, childbearing. The child survived, the mother died. How old was the mother? The mother was 35 years old. Why should she die? Bearing a child doesn't come easy at all. Everything inside the woman will have expanded, become bigger. Now, for a 13 year old or a 15 year old, what is what are you calling a woman in them? But the abortion will clear your face because it's only a clean swap that they will use and take the tissues out and clear it. It's a blood at the moment, and they will clear it, clean, clean it up completely. They will clean it, it will be neat. It's, this is not Nigeria where they are using uh, all nonsense of instrument that doesn't want to use it for, uh, for, for medical issues in Nigeria. This is Western world. So save your face on the two reasons why the abortion must be done, apart from the legal battle that you are going to face, the disgrace with the social workers, the court battle, the legal team that will drag you to the camp prosecution service that will mess you up, the boy will go to prison, the two children will be taken away from you into the social worker because they are still under age. 13 and 15 are so, so dangerous. If it's 16, you can escape it. 13 and 15 are prone to social workers. They will take them away from you. So you are doomed. So that's, that's the first reason why you have to do the abortion. The second one is to face, save yourself from the father's family, from the, those children's family. You save yourself from that nonsense stuff that they will put them out. Even those who doesn't even know how to look after children. That day is the day that you will see them hoping their dirty mouth to talk down on you. One. The guest mate, it is that day the guest mate will start messing you up and start putting these children all over. Yes. And start messing these girls everywhere. And nine months, you cannot keep them in the house for nine months. They want to go out. And for 13 and 15 year old, the pregnancy will come out like this. Trust me. So it's a forever disgrace for you for, for, for if it happens. So as far as I'm concerned, I have given you the legal advice that you needed. And I've given you a moral advice as a sister, as a friend, as a mother. Get rid of it. Save yourself from that shame. You know, save your face from that shame. And that's my advice to your mother. You've done your best. There is nothing else to do anymore. <laughs> so thank you everybody for your contributions. I am going to, I am going to say it's not about being single parent. Don't you know the reason why I say it's not about being single parents? Have I, have I not seen a scenario where, where mother is there, eh? And there is a, there is a stepdad, yeah? And the stepdad was the sleeping, well, he is sleeping with the child, with the daughter of his wife. Is he not supposed to be a role model father to that daughter? So why is the stepdad, stepdad is sleeping with the daughter? Because you want us to, you guys, don't let us capitalize or be, take things on sentiment. It's not about being a single parent. She's not a stupid woman. She's not a careless woman. So I'm not going to agree with anyone. It is not about being a single parent, my dear. It's not about being a single parent. What about the father that's sleeping with her own, his own daughter? You want to talk about that? That is another, another scenario that they even close his church down in this country of our UK. So in Nigeria, many of them sleep with their daughter. They go in the night when the mother is not around. They go and, they go and have sex with their daughter in the bed. So we want to talk about that. And the, the both parents are living in the house. You want to talk about that? 
So it's not about being single, I'm afraid so. It's not about being single parents. I'm not going to agree with that. That doesn't come into being. What has happened has happened. And abortion is the solution, ladies and gentlemen. That is my opinion and that is my advice to the lady. There is nothing else you want to hear from us, this, uh, the, the mother of these children, that you haven't heard. So we have given you the advice that you have required. You have put it out to the public to give advice. And luckily, people pick me up straight away and say, listen, you have, you have the background uh, legal advice. Can you assist us to do this? I have done my bit. People have put out comments there. Take the video away. Listen to the video. Enjoy yourself, madam. Don't kill yourself for something that's not worth killing for. It has happened. Just go through the advice. God will guide you. God will lead you. God will be with you. That is it. That is it. That is it. There's not any other way to give advice in this scenario. Thank you, everybody, for coming on board. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. So we acknowledge her. The music was taken from public arena. And happy birthday to Mommy Mary Olaide Possibility. She's the one doing birthday, my dear. It's not me. It's Mama Mary Olaide. I just put us her as well because she 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 she's a good woman to me. It's not about money, it's about somebody recognizing somebody. She baba me she Oh no we just finished another school of law thank you thank you <laughs>
Bi o ma pe ohun Dr. Bola eh bi si alawu ya mi ko. Bi ma pe ohun e fine to yi honestly. Emi no se music fun won ti mo ni emi no se fun. Ah eh le calling mo ti pa program. I've taken it off. O se ya mi e se gbo yin mo ri ti na mi ndun. Thank you everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, to my mom Mary, they be called the bad. It's not me, oh, it's not. Me. <laughs> they gave me the scenario, me. My auntie she buy into a lot of this all of me, and I think she's a, she's a U.S. citizen. I think she's a U.S. citizen, Nigerian U.S. citizen. She's a Yoruba woman living in the U.S. the program already and I've switched off the phone so you can't call in. I've switched off. <laughs> I'm going home now. Doesn't crack, Jerry, my girl. Black does not crack. Yes, so oh, my girl. I mean, I mean. Onuwa so jono de ojo aye ye. Ojo ti ota ya so to. Lati fi emi ati e se eleya ni oruko Jesu ogun awon asodi ojo aye fun wa emi awon woli otito awon emoli igba ni awon woli to duro lori ese mejeji emi awon woli igba ni asodo na de ojo aye ye ero ti ota gba lori emi ati e yi tai wa lori bibai it will not come to pass it will return back to them back to sender anyone that wishes evil the evil will return back to them we are covered with the blood of Jesus and it's not been a video to be no idea. And let me say, I'm not picking your mind, Jackie. My dog, my dog, can you imagine? Bye. Because I have Christ. When you have Christ, everything becomes so irrelevant. It becomes so little and simple. When you don't have Christ, you are thinking of Baba La Wori Shad that you want to go and give money to. Well, my Rudy was in my body again. I have never thought of destroying people's life or character or personality in my life. And that's why you, you, look, you see me like this. You know, to me, man, do say, you know, me, you can buy the say, so, I am grateful with great humility. I am humble. I appreciate all of you to come on this timeline. Please let us continue to embrace each other and support good cause that is happening like this. And share. If anyone come on next, share it and let others make common sense from it. Share it. It is very important that we share it. Everybody can have me on your timeline. I'm a free woman. Put me on your platform. Let people that follow you, let them make common sense from it. What we discussed today shouldn't have happened in real life. It is against the, it's against the law and it's against the moral belief and it's against the kingdom of God. In three ways, you understand, it shouldn't have happened at all. So please share it. It is not a Yoruba program, it's English. So I'm going to change the topic later on. I will change the topic, but I appreciate all of you. I'm going to put it out there uh, on, a, on a WhatsApp for those who are not here now because they are, my nurses are 
in the world at the front line working the nurses and the doctors i appreciate all of them and let us appreciate all our nurses and doctors working for us at the front line in the uk in the us especially we kudos you italy spain we kudos you but for the national health uh, service uh, nurses doctors we say thank you to all of you in the uk you are fantastic honestly you are fantastic all nurses doctors care workers support workers you know working at nhs front line you know cleaners at the front line cleaning everything taking care of things thank you so 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 much thank you so much thank you thank you we love you all thank you for your effort for for helping the country the the, the statistics today shows 300 and something died you know so it, it means that it's reducing in the united kingdom the death toll is reducing but the figure is already 33,000 plus 33,998 that was the figure as of today's date the figure that we are that, that put together on the death toll in the united kingdom on coronavirus issue is 33,998 33,000 you know you know 33,998 that is the figure and today about 300 and something people died again so it's reducing with the death rate is reducing but the death toll is still there that is something thousand so we have to be very careful don't forget face mask is very important the they made the the frontline train uh, train officer train line staff wouldn't have died had she had the mask on when that idiot sparked on her you know so you have to be very careful some people can use racism into this problem that we are having in the world they just intentionally spit on you and if they spite on you that is dangerous this must not come into your eyes your nose and your mouth so be watchful of people you come in contact with may god protect us all thank you very much everybody bye for now